okay ka naman ba? Masaya ka ba naman dito? Okay naman. Masyado sila. Parang nangayayat ka dito. <laughs> Oo nga, nangayayat ako dito. Yung pagkain ko doon, orang dami yan. Hindi, hindi ko na feel yung pangayayat ko. Pero yung pagkain mo talaga dyan, nasak-stuck dyan. No? Paano ko kayo yung kainin? <laughs> Paano siya talaga? Uh, Rinelda, hindi ito pwede. Sabi ni Baron Method, ikaw na lang doon kumain. <laughs> Lahat ng hindi pwede sa diet namin sa kanya na. Wala akong spill dyan. Rinelda, kasama ka doon sa vlog ko. Hi! <laughs> Mag-hi ka sa mga fans mo dyan! Mag-hi so, ka sa Bacolod! Ganon! So, Hi guys! Vlogger na ako ngayon! <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen of the bunnies! So, the vlog today is going to happen between two kitchens. One here, up here, yung lagi nyo nakikita. Yung isa sa baba, the dirty kitchen, which you haven't really seen before, I guess. Kasi hindi naman ako nag-shoot doon or anything. And it's actually not yet um, officially finished when it comes to renovation. But anyway, I just want to show you guys what I usually eat in a day. Kasi, lagi ako nakakakuha ng question lately, lalo na siguro they notice that I lost weight. Ano daw ba yung diet ko? If I can share it. So, what I did instead is um, make a vlog that will show you what I usually eat in a day, how I usually prepare it, also how Rinel die. I will be authentic that I don't really cook all of our meals. It's one of those things that I delegate ko talaga sa amin kasambahay because I do a lot of things and uh, it will be more efficient for me to finish my own activities kung merong isang nakatutok sa food namin. But today, I'm gonna try and cook some things for you and show you what I usually eat in a day. Bakit ko ba gusto pag-usapan yung diet? Kasi may mga tao na sinasabing hindi mo raw kailangan mag-diet. So, ngayong araw na to, try ko sagutin yung tatlong questions na ako lang naman ang nagtanong sa sarili ko. Nobody asked that. <laughs> Nobody wanted to do that. Pero sige, uh, indulge me. Today, I will tell you what is diet. Is dieting to lose weight bad? And last, how can I effectively get into a good diet? But before we talk about the diet, magmukbang muna tayo. MSG, no artificial colors, and no artificial flavors. I can trust Lawrence. Thank you, Lawrence, for my patties. our family dish. Sabihin ko lang that this is our dirty kitchen. And uh, it's still not finished. Maglalagay pa kami ng mga ano dito. Si mga fake, ano, plants. Ganyan. Para may konting decor. I just wanna be the, my whirlpool um, gas range here. So it's an oven and a stove in one. And I actually wanna transfer this upstairs kasi itong, ano, itong sa oven nila, this is actually double wall. So, even if it's hot inside, hindi mo mararamdaman outside. And I feel like it's so useful for Manu, my two-year-old, who always likes to touch things. Tapos minsan, syempre, hindi mo maiwasan, mababasog siya dahil sa curiosity niya. So, this would be great. This also has an oven safety valve. Basta siya yung nag-shut off ng gas supply as soon as the flame is cut off. One of the first few things na binili ko for our new area here. And um, I'm, I'm just glad that it's so useful for me and for Rinalda! <laughs> Siya talaga ang, ano, <laughs> Siya talaga ang nag enjoy dyan. Eh. Mas maganda pa ang kanyang gas range at saka oven kesa sa akin, guys. <laughs> Hintayin natin to. Uh, a few minutes more, we're gonna put the patatas. 
Oh, lagay mo ba to? Oh, hindi na. Sa ano lang to, no? Tuna. Hindi, ilalagay natin. Lagay mo rin to. Okay. Nilalagay mo. Oh, may mga ano, may innovation si Renelda sa aming family dish. ko in a day. Um, let's start with breakfast. I usually don't have a heavy breakfast. Parang sana, yung una na sa day ko is yung makapag-exercise ako. So, I don't wanna be too full. I would just have like something like this. A power bar. So, packed with like food na may energy or ingredients na may energy to. Like chocolate, um, there's also peanut butter and then nuts. And basta yung mga super foods yan. According to my Baron Method family, ang sabi nila pwede rin daw gawin is a piece of fruit with almond butter. I just don't have it right now kasi hilaw pa yung saging namin. Pero pwedeng isang saging, tas lalagyan mo ng almond butter that actually provides energy for you to be able to lift weights or exercise. Since ako talaga ay ma-fruit na tao, yung mahilig ako sa mga smoothie bowls, I found a way to make it for myself also. So I have my own version here. So this is my acai bowl. So I have yung acai, tapos nilagyan ko ng yogurt sa side, tapos um, yung aking gluten-free cereals, and then cacao, nag nag nagsaboy ako ng cacao dyan, tsaka yung mangoes on the side, tapos almond slices. So parang, I also like kasi texture in my food. I could also possibly eat this before exercising just so I have enough, you know, boost and energy for the day. Pwede rin namang piece of bread. I think in one of my vlogs, you've seen me eat like a piece of sourdough. I, I always choose sourdough because it's like the healthiest that you can get out there na hindi exactly gluten-free. If you are wondering why I do gluten-free diet, it was advised to me by the Baron Method um, people because of my condition prior when I was um, pregnant with Manu, mayroon ng autoimmune issues. It's kind of long to explain, but it's an inflammatory problem. Usually, what Baron Method will tell you is to stay away from products na pwedeng mag-cause ng inflammation. Bread usually does that. Hindi lang na meron siyang gluten, siya pa yung usually may kahalong sugar, may kahalong mga mga iba pang uh, ingredients na hindi mabuti para sa katawan natin. So this is sourdough by Likhang Harina and they use unbleached flour. Usually pag bibili ako ng bread kasi mabread ako na tao, tinitingnan ko lahat ng ingredients. Okay ba lahat ng nandito? Now from time to time, I would eat breads that are, you know, uh, not necessarily the healthiest na klase ng bread. Parang magkaroon naman ako ng normal life. Normal life. <laughs> I will not lie to you. I cheat. I'm not going to tell you na parang life is okay kung wala tayong mga sweets or sugar, ganon. Because it's not. <laughs> I just don't do it every day. So, yun. Um, this is my bread. Then, usually, I put this. I discovered this chocolate spread. Gluten-free chocolate spread siya. Plus, jam. I've got this. This is given to me. Chia jam. Pero actually, pwede rin naman kayong gumawa. So, I'll show you guys. I have... Laging nasa ref namin to. Ay, mga frozen fruits. So, I could make like a shake or jam also. Ano mo lang to eh. Search nyo lang on the internet how to make your own jam. So, it's a strawberry jam or whatever, berry jam. Ilulutuin mo lang siya by yourself and you have instantly your own jam and you are in charge of whatever goes into your jam. Um, pag merienda naman, the same old for all the Pinoy's in the world, di ba? Yung piniritong saging, pero hindi na ako gumagamit ng refined sugar. Instead, I put cocoa sugar. That's the healthier kind of sugar according to our Baron Method family na pwede natin gamitin kung gusto natin tumamis ang ating pagkain. Ito naman yung parang cheap Dessert. So, ito yung aming keto peanut butter ice cream. Tapos, para sa mga anak ko, nilalagyan ko ng chocolate. So, if hindi mo naman gagawin araw-araw ng buhay mo, 
eh, why not? Maglagay ka na ng mga konting bagay na makakapagpatamis ng buhay mo. <laughs> Minsan-minsan lang naman yan. Para naman may konting, ano, di ba, childhood memories yung mga anak ko na hindi puro brown rice yung kinakain nila. <laughs> Eto, kung gusto niyong buksan ang puso ko ngayon, ito pong laman yan. Manggos din. <laughs> Season yata ng manggos din. So, I always get my fruits from Shop fresh and green because they're like one of the most efficient suppliers for me online. Mag partner ko yan Himalayan salt and mangosteen. <laughs> yan mga kinakain midnight snack ko. Pagka, pagka ano, gusto ko pa mag stay up, tapos medyo gutom na ako. And why do I stock up on a lot of fruits? Kasi I feel like at some point, magahanap ka talaga ng flavor. And hindi mo ay iwasan na kung yun nakastak mo jan ay chips yun yung you're, that's what you're gonna reach for or chocolates that's what you're that's what you're gonna reach for. Pero pag meron ka mga fruits, kaya tayo sabihin mo ng mas sugar pa rin yun. It's still a better kind of sugar than those that are heavily processed and those that have a lot of preservatives. Last is ito nay niluto ko. Ang um, namin ni Renelda. Collab namin. Renelda X R P B. So this is our picadillo. This is a bit sentimental for me because this is a family dish that I actually learned to make over the pandemic. And it's so easy to make. You just have to have ground beef. You can also use ground pork. And then may kamatis, may sibuyas, the usual. Garlic, tapos patis. Yun 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 talaga yung nagpapaalat sa kanya. Tapos sasabawan mo. So may tubig lang, sasabawan mo siya. And then ipapatong mo siya sa ibabaw ng kanin. And then I also have this. This is a recent discovery. So I would always make this. Yung tuna with egg. Napakadali. So yung tuna, <laughs> hahalo mo lang siya sa ano, <laughs> sa itlog. Napakadali, di ba? Tapos ganun din. Ah, ano mo lang, sote-sote mo lang. Tapos maluluto na siya. Nakita nyo na ang trend dito sa bahay namin. Hinahalo-halo lang po. So Sarah G, ikot-ikot lang. Ganun. <laughs> so, one time, I had extra lettuce from somewhere. And then I had an idea. Hindi kaya ilagay ko na lang yung tuna dun sa lettuce and hence, ah, di ba? Very healthy. Oh, hindi ako magalay sa inyo. Medyo walang lasa talaga to. Pero nakakabusog. Okay, so parang paggabi na gutom pa ako. Yung parang I really need a meal. Eto talaga yung mga inaabot ko. Tapos eto, kakampi mo talaga sa buhay ang asin ni. Pag wala nang lasa ang lahat, asin na. <laughs> and it becomes so good. I will go back to the picadillo kasi may surprise ako sa inyo dyan. So usually, I have plain rice lang. Kaya lang wala kaming ginagawa pa yung plain rice namin. Hindi umabot eh. So kukuha tayo ng konting picadillo. Yan. Diba? Sabaw and rice. That's so Pinoy. Hindi talaga to approved ng mga nutritionist natin, namin. Kahit nga hindi nutritionist, hindi rin to approved eh. <laughs> Pero masaba ako. <laughs> Tsaka minsan-minsan lang to. Okay? And this is our secret topping. Tere! <laughs> Chicharong! <laughs> Tapos dinudurog-durog ko yan dito. Oh. Hmm. ASMR. Di ba ang sarap? Meron kang sabaw. May ground beef, may kanin, tapos may crunchy na bits of ano, chicharon. Mmm! Hi guys! May note nga pala ako sa inyo when it comes to ground beef or pork. According to our Baron Method family, kung maaari, talagang dapat alam natin kung what goes into our ground everything. If you can ground it yourself, grind it yourself, yung meat ninyo, better daw. Kasi at least alam mo kung ano talaga yung Ah, uh, hinahalo doon. Kasi minsan, we don't know what parts they put or like the quality of beef or pork that they put in there. And so, for us, whenever it's ground beef, we really source it from uh, really good sources and trusted sources. Now, let's move on to uh, the three questions that nobody asked. <laughs> so, para sa unang question, saan nga ba nagmumula ang salitang diet? Alam mo, hindi kayo masasagot. Kaya, pasok, Kuya King. Alam niyo ba na ang diet, kung ikaw ay mahilig sa showbiz, ay isang artista na sikat noong 1990s na magandang abs. Siya si Diet Ocampo, pero hindi yan ang tunay na ibig sabihin ng diet. Ang diet din ay galing sa salitang die. Dahil pag ikaw ay nagda-diet, para kang magda-die, para kang mamamatay. 
Ngunit ang tunay na pinagmula na salitang diet ay ang French word na diete, na ang ibig sabihin ay way of life. Kaya kung ikaw ay magda-diet, dapat sustainable, and it's a way of life, hindi mo dapat pinipilit ang iyong sarili. Back to you guys! Thank you so much, Kuya Kim. Uh, talagang maaasahan ka sa mga ganitong bagay. Our notion of diet kasi is that dapat gutumin mo yung sarili mo para mangyayayat ka. That's not the meaning of diet. There are many different kinds of diet. If you search up the definition of diet, it really is just a certain group of foods that you eat according to your reason. Diba? So yung iba merong vegetarian diet, yung iba naman vegan. Yung iba, may certain diet lang sila na pwede sa kanila dahil sa sakit nila. Di ba yung mga ating mga cancer patients? Ako, as autoimmune patient before, I would really have to stick by a gluten-free diet and be careful of um, products that actually can inflame my system. That's one way of looking at diet para lang meron tayong correct mindset na hindi siya tungkol sa pagpapapayat. Yun yung pangalawang question naman na, is dieting to lose weight bad? Yes and no. Yes, if you really need to lose that weight because they come from bad habits. Meaning, you're losing the bad habit as well. So, uh, example ako, when I was in the States, I would have two dinners in one night. Kahit naman siguro sino, alam na dapat one lang yung dinner ko. When I lost that other dinner that I'm really not supposed to put into my system anyway, I also naturally lost the weight. So I think in that sense, it's okay to diet to lose weight. I think it's not good if you just if you're already being unhealthy in trying to lose weight na hindi ka na kumakain. And I was like that before. I was anorexic. I would not eat because I feel like every kind of food that I would put into my system only adds to weight and it makes me ugly. So I guess yun na yung medyo dangerous kasi psychological na siya. Tsaka hindi na siya healthy sa body mo. Ito, yes, I would say okay lang naman kung if it really makes you feel good about yourself to lose that weight. Eh, what if you feel heavy? Like me. I wanted to lose weight because I felt heavy. I felt like I couldn't move as fast as I wanted to move just because I had so much bigat in my body. Okay lang naman kung gusto mag mo maging lean, kung gusto mo mag-shed ng kaunti. Basta siguro hindi lang siya okay talaga pagka hindi na healthy yung way mo of losing that weight. Okay, and the last question that nobody asked, how can I effectively get myself into a good diet? Let's face it, if we want good diet talaga, medyo hindi siya kasing sarap ng hindi good diet. <laughs> so, mahirap siya naturally gawin. So, you really need a reason. I heard so a couple of times from a lot of uh, different sources na if you want change, establish a crisis. And isn't it true that when your health is at stake, dun ka biglang nagkakaroon ng reason to diet, di ba? Parang I have, I, I was just talking to this friend na parang mga 120 pounds yung nawala sa kanya. And then I asked him, sabi ko, what happened? How come you lost all of that weight? Sabi niya, it started with a fatty liver. And natakot siya na may fatty liver siya. So he started getting on a good diet. And then after losing all of that weight, he had his labs taken again, checkups and all. And they saw that his fatty liver is no longer there. Hindi na siya fatty liver ngayon. Ang galing lang na parang pag meron na talagang threat sa health mo, kind of, magkakareason ka talaga to be on a good diet. Hindi ba? So parang, for us, I guess, no, na parang wala pa naman talagang imminent threat na, na parang hindi naman tayo sinabihan na may disease tayo, mas maganda na maging preventive na lang tayo. Diba sabi nga na prevention is better than cure. And so that's kind of what I'm doing now. I really don't have any like major disease that is threatening my life right now. If you want to get into a good diet, you really need a reason. And for you to have a reason, I guess you will have to research Knowledge is power. Get yourself educated and informed. The other thing is that when I started exercising, that was one reason for me because I started feeling the need of my body to be fed the right way. Because if I'm not fed the right way, then I can't have the power to lift weights, to jump that much. Kasi nararamdaman ko talaga na nang gagaling yung enerhiya na yun sa mga pagkain ko at sa mga, mga nilalagay ko sa katawan ko. And so, I really hope that whatever I shared with you guys today ay makatulong sa inyo. Uh, nagutom ba kayo sa ating vlog today? 
Let me know if you have also added suggestions. Baka naman meron kayo dyan. Recipes. Or if you want the recipe also, I'll just put it down in the description box. But um, yeah. So if you like this, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you again next week.